Hey, uh, uh, Glenn, I'd like to tell you about another job I had. Well, what was that, Mel? Well, I wanted to, to tell you about the time that I was a car... Uh, car salesman? No, a carnival barker. <laughs> really? Where'd you bark? Well, up the wrong tree, evidently. It, it sort of went like this. Oh? Yes, sir, we folks, step right up and see Lady Cadaver, the most beautiful, wonderfulest girl in the whole world. I ain't believing I'm saying all this. You <laughs> see Lady Cadaver, ride her horse, Bear. Oh, I like you. I think it's a very good man. Bareback, huh? <laughs> about the evils of smoking. It's on your new album. It's on you guys. All right, rip it off. Yes, this is for all the cigarette burners and <laughs> all you nicotine fiends. <laughs> <laughs> well, now there's a whole lot of talk going around today about how cigarette smoking whittles your life away. And I've seen it and heard it so many times that finally it just started to prey on my mind. I reckon it scared me a little bit. That's why I decided I was going to quit. So while I was sitting here forming my battle plan, I took another puff and <coughs> turned on the fan. <laughs> I just sat there in the easy chair, thinking all the money I wasted on cigarettes all these years. And I said, well, I don't think it'd be too tough to quit this habit. Besides, I've had enough. And with that little bit of assurance, I took another puff. <laughs> <laughs> And then a puff, and I ripped off another puff, and I said, well, this ain't gonna be too tough. Besides, I've just about had enough. Because now I've given a lot of thought to this thing. If I didn't smoke, I'd feel like a king. Besides, with the price going up every day, I knew I was just throwing my good money away. You know, I ain't lit one an hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to make sure to quit, you know. <laughs> I was thinking maybe I ought to write all this down, put it in a song, it sort of circulated around. Can't ever tell it might be it. <laughs> that helped the cause just a little bit. <laughs> Imagine me, a hit songwriter. <laughs> Where'd I put that cigarette lighter? <laughs> Ain't nothing but a habit and a habit you can break. Just a little willpower, that's all it takes. I said to myself, boy. This ain't gonna be so tough. <laughs> With that little bit of assurance, I took another pub. <laughs> I'm about ready to quit this rotten habit anyway. I'm glad they took it off of television. It looks too good. <laughs> Besides that, my idol Buck Owens, he don't smoke. He chews bubble girl. Oh, I love it, 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 I love it. I love it. No, I don't love cigarettes, and I don't misunderstand me. I hate cigarettes. I despise cigarettes. I wish I could think of something bad to say about cigarettes. <laughs> Boo on cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't smoke, don't, don't, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke. You quit smoking, that'll leave more for me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever quit smoking? I quit smoking. I quit smoking. My wife left me. Took my children. Took my house and left. It was a mobile home. <laughs> You got a great new record out, and it's really a beautiful thing. Thank you. It was uh, written by a fellow that's on your show a lot, Jerry Reed. <laughs> right. Well, uh, Jerry wrote it, and you're going to sing it. That makes it a hit right there. So why don't you do it, and Jerry and I go over here and eat our hearts out. Okay, Glenn. A thing called love. <laughs> Six, he stood on the ground, he weighed 235 pounds.
saw that giant of a man brought down to his knees by love. Mm, he was the kind of a man that would gamble on luck, look you in the eye and never back up. I saw him crying like a little whip because of love. You can't see it with your eyes, hold it in your hand. But like the wind that covers our land, strong enough to rule the heart of any man, this thing called love. It can lift you up, never let you down, take your world and turn it all around. Ever since time, nothing's ever been found stronger than love. They struggle in doubt They trouble their minds day in and day out They're busy with the living to worry about A little thing like love But when I see a mother's tenderness As she holds a young close to her breast Then I thank God that the world's been blessed With a thing called love You can't see it with your eyes Hold it in your hand, but like the wind that covers our land, strong enough to rule the heart of any man, this thing called love. It can lift you up, never let you down, take your world and turn it all around. Ever since time, nothing's ever been found stronger than love. Ever since time, nothing's ever been found stronger than love. Yeah, and here's that woman that I love, ladies and gentlemen, June Carter. <laughs> Gonna feel good getting this spiritual with us. Reach up and grab a handful. Ain't no need to worry, no need to cry. God's gonna bless you. By and by, you'll be blessed when the Lord gets through. I found out if you'll take one step, he'll take two. Ain't no need to worry, no need to, worry. No need to, cry. No need to cry. God's gonna bless you. God's gonna bless you. By and by, by and you'll be blessed. You'll be blessed. When the Lord gets through, I found out if you'll take one step, he'll take two. The Lord moves in mysterious ways, His wonders to perform. He plants His feet on every sea and rides on every storm. No need to worry, no need to cry. God's gonna bless you by and by. Through. I found out a few take one step, you'll take two. Oh, boo! Don't need to worry. Don't need to worry. Don't need to cry. Don't need to cry. God's gonna bless you. God's gonna bless you. By and by. By and by. You'll be blessed. You'll be blessed. When the Lord gets through. I found out a few take one step, you'll take two. The Lord moves in mysterious ways, His wonders to perform. He plants His feet on every sea, and He rides on every storm. No need to worry, no need to cry, God's gonna bless you, God's gonna bless you. By and by, you'll be blessed, you'll be blessed, and it's true.
I, I understand you you been, had a job as a dog trainer once. Have you still got all your dogs? No, I don't uh, have them anymore, Glenn. My, I'll tell you why, because my wife wouldn't feed them, so I had to get rid of them, all except <coughs> one. A <laughs> one skull side. Skull side? Skull side. How did you get the name of skull side? Well, one day, uh, Doris was uh, picking some chickens. You know, you had to scald them, yeah. you know, dip them, and pull them out and pick the chickens. And she was picking this chicken, and she finished, and she took the wadger and threw it out the back door and hit my dog. <laughs> and it took all the hair off of one, one side. side of him. And it, the hair never did come right back. So we named him on Skull Side. One day, old Skull Side and I was out hunting, and he was on the chasing rabbits. <laughs> old Skull Side and I got on a fox's trail, a fox smart. Yeah. He took him up the hill and down the hill and threw up a sawmill. Yeah. There was a sawyer there sawing a log. <laughs> and old Skull Side was going at such a terrible pace, he ran right through the saw. The saw? Right through it. Cut him in half, one half over there, another half over there. <laughs> I didn't do a, a thing in this world but to pick up some sawmill glue. Yeah. Pick skull side up and put some glue there and put that. And I glued him back together and he took off. Run. Well, uh, only one thing wrong. What? I glued two legs up and two legs down. <laughs> and uh, skull side is still a runner. He uh, never gets uh, tired. I'll tell you a reason why I know he never gets uh, tired. I heard him one night and he'd been out for for 30 days. <laughs> and I knew it was called so I, I said, Doris, I hear old skull side. She said, how do you know? I looked out there and there, there was. He had to run on two legs for a while and flip over and run on the other two. <laughs> Here's a song that was made famous by Don Gibson, later on by Ray Charles. Oh, born to lose. Born to lose. I've lived my life in vain. Every dream. You've 